Comic Land, it's Layla here from the Comic Connection with this week's comic book reviews. First up, we've got DC Universe Online Legends number one by Mark Wolfman, Tony Bedard, Howard Porter, Live Say, Andrea Mello, and Norman Lee. That's a lot of people. Okay, so based on the game uh, that is out now, uh, the story begins with Lex Luthor killing Superman and being betrayed by his ally, who is bent on destroying Earth. Lex figuring that he's been duped and sort of has to turn the tide of things a bit, must regroup and gather as many metahumans to his side as he can, villains and heroes alike, to try and save the world. So, from the moment I saw the ad for the game, I wanted to play it, and I haven't played it yet, but this really is getting me interested in wanting to do it. Uh, it's a great story, really well done. Uh, I, what else can I say? If you're doing the online thing, you'll probably want to read this too. It's just a great, great story. And if not, and you're kind of interested in the video game, but not quite sure about all of the stuff in it, then check this out. It's pretty good. And last but not least, we've got Deadpool and Cable number 26 by Dwayne Swierzynski and Leandro Bucciolato. Yeah, I know. In this issue, Deadpool plans um, to commemorate the life of Cable, who has fallen, and as only Deadpool can. Um, really not sure what to say about this, other than it's full of emotion and irreverent humor, as a Deadpool book always is. He's talking to the person narrating and, the, and us, the reader, uh, throughout the book in the tradition that Deadpool always has, which I always find amusing, but you know, maybe not for everybody. Um, I thought this was pretty good. It was a fitting end to the Cable Deadpool team up, and I definitely think that if you're a fan of either character, you won't be disappointed by this one. See you next week, guys. Hey folks, Jim here again with uh, this week's Geeking Out comic book reviews. First up, we have Transformers Infestation number one, written by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning with art by Nick Roach. And in this one, when Galvatron crash lands on Earth in Las Vegas, it's up to the Autobots to stop him. But it seems everyone might need help with the zombie horde spreading. Um, not a bad continuation of the Infestation series. I'm really not, it's really good to see uh, Nick Roach doing more Transformers art, as always. And this one pretty much ties into a lot of good Transformers continuity. So if you're a fan of the series, you might want to check this one out, because it's actually important to the storyline going on now. Uh, not bad, but could have been better. I'm um, looking forward to the second issue to see how well it goes. But uh, if you're following Infestation, this is a must-have. Next up, we have Gore Number 1, written by Alex Chiba, with art by Alessia no Nocera. And in this one, after her sister is brutally killed by a mermaid, and it is falsely reported as a shark attack, uh, Roxanne seeks out Gabriel, the Demon Slayer, and learns fairy tales are true. But none have happy endings, and that soon the fairy tale creatures will invade our realm to feast. Um, another gorgeous book by GG Studios. Uh, once again, as with a lot of the GG Studio books, uh, the translation from Italian and alter all other languages is a little off, but uh, the art is just gorgeous to look at. Uh, if you're a comic fan, check this out. It's got a Grim Fairy Tales vibe going to it. It's a lot of fun to look at. Uh, it's a lot of fun to read. I'm actually looking really forward to uh, scene number two. So if you want to try something out a little different, check this one out. It's not a bad read. And last and certainly not least is Grim Fairy Tales Myths and Legends number one, written by Raven Gregory, Drew Rusha, and Ralph Tedesco with art by David Miller. And in this one, uh, creatures from the realm of mist have escaped into our world and are causing havoc. And it falls upon a hero from mist to save everyone from the big bad wolf. Um, not bad. Um, as always, it seems that uh, the writing is a little off on the Grim Fairy Tales stories, but as always, the art is simply gorgeous to look at. So we have pluses and minuses as always. Um, this was not a bad first issue. It actually ties into uh, Grim Fairy Tales continuity quite well. And uh, I quite enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to scene number two. But uh, if you're not a fan of the really dark Grim Fairy Tales, you're probably not going to like this. Or gore for that matter. But... Uh, 
you might want to check this out if you're a longtime Grim Fairy Tale fan because it really is quite good uh, compared to a lot of the other books that are out from Grim Fairy Tales. So yeah, check this one out and we will see you next week.